Hey everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and that you're doing well. For this video, we will be going through an unboxing of the Warlock Aegis Gundam. And this particular kit is from the SD Gundam World Heroes line. And this was released in 2022, also the current year, uh, by Bandai. So just another quick little filler unboxing with some more SD kits that I've recently had come through. So this particular Warlock Aegis Gundam was picked up over at Hobby Link Japan. So I will have a product link to the Warlock Aegis as well as other kits of the Gundam World Heroes series as well. So here we have the front of the box of the Warlock Aegis Gundam. Finally a kit with a very easy to pronounce name. Although I'm sure if I looked at the names of some of them, there will be some other ones with some easy to pronounce names. Definitely a very interesting look for this uh, Warlock Aegis. Uh, 10 out of 10, definitely getting the Warlock look down back. Um, so it's interesting to see what type of visual we have on the front of the box. I'm assuming um, we have a version of the Warlock Aegis with its, uh, I dare say, cloak shroud closed and then one with it open. So that's the front of the box. Front of the box, pretty much a rehash of the front of the box. This is also release number 24 of the line. Side of the box. So we do have some nice posed shots here. And yes, that is probably the deployed version of the Warlock Aegis. So we have a bit of a little bit, little bit of a blurb about the Warlock Aegis. Um, front and rear, somewhat posed shot. Um, interestingly enough, the name of the staff is Catastrophe. It's not ominous at all. Um, and then the cape can be unfolded to make this uh, very interesting form. And in fact, there's even a support mecha uh, as well, which is kind of cool. Looks like it's a bit of a detachment of the backpack into its own aerial unit. Very cool. Uh, the other side, probably not too much to write about other than go check out um, SD Gundam World. Um, interestingly enough, I have seen it on the front of the box where it has this, uh, the Legend of Dragon Knight, which is right here. So it makes me wonder if it's a little bit of a, not a spin-off per se, but maybe a sub-arc or sub-line within the uh, greater hall. That's the front of the box, or should I say, and the lid of the box, in terms of what's inside. One bag with some very hefty sticker sheets, or sticker sheet, two, three, four bags of runners, and the manual at the bottom. Definitely some nice interesting colours coming through, and I'm sure we'll see some uh, universal runners being used. So I'll crack open these bags and we can have a better look at all the inclusions. And with everything out of the bags, here we have the front of the manual, Warlock Aegis Gundam, a slightly expanded blurb about it, and just a nice shot of the animated look of the Warlock Aegis. Back of the manual, some more of these shots that we have seen already from the sides of the top of the box, as well as a very nice illustration of the Warlock Aegis with the cloak open and void. And I feel I've seen this dragon uh, as a kit before as well. That was a very nice artwork. Very cool. So that's the pretty side of the manual. And before we look at the parts, the comic part 22. I still get confused which way it is to be read. I'm assuming this way over. So we have the Night Strike Gundam making appearance. Um, basically telling the Aegis to stop doing what it's doing. And yes, I'm guessing this is where the Aegis 
comes the Warlock Aegis Gundam, and I guess things turn to... Well, not turn for the worst, but yes, interesting. That's the comic parts lists. Uh, decent number of runners, decent number of translucent ones. <clears throat> So um, we'll see those in a bit. Um, yeah, and the A runner, as expected, was the Universal A runner. In terms of the instructions, are they all going to fit? Yes. Usual build: head, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. Nothing too unusual. Uh, some of the stickers will be called out. Um, mainly for the cloak on the inside and the outside um, but that's actually not too bad definitely looks like it has a bit of build to go through as much as an SD has um, we have a step regarding catastrophe and then the unfolding of the cape so it's not well i was going to say it wasn't quite a parts former but kind of is where things have to detach, move around, and get reattached in all sorts of fun, wonderful manners. And there's also the instructions for the support mecha. Very interesting vibe from that. So that was the manual. In terms of everything else, we do have a sticker sheet, which is not really surprising. We did see it earlier. Decent sized sticker sheet, a lot of color correcting items so a lot of the gold and a lot of that red for the interior now the gold might not be too bad in the sense that it could possibly be replaced by marker the red because of some of the uh, additional detailing will remain to be seen depends how flat the interior is but overall it's still not that bad we've seen worse in terms of the runners Universal A runner in black. Getting pretty used to seeing this. More sorts of colours as well. We have two Bs, B1 and B2, uh, both in a dark blue. So they do form a more of a full B runner um, based on how the separation is. So that's B1, B2. Yes, you can definitely see a lot of that detailing on the wing exterior, so that'll definitely be an interesting challenge. So that's B1 and B2. We have one Sea Runner in translucent red. I also forgot to mention, some of that B Runner also gave me a bit of the um, Death Scythe Hell vibe as well. Well, if anything, it's the cloak, really. Uh, but going back to the Sea Runner. Uh, this is in that uh, nice translucent red, which is interesting, uh, as opposed to getting a few more joints. So that's the Sea Runner. We have two Ds, D1, D2, which do make up a bit more of a fuller runner. Now these are in translucent uh, purple, I dare say. So Definitely a good amount of translucent parts for this particular Warlock Aegis, which I guess is cool. Be interesting to see how well it all comes across. So that's D1 and D2. Single E runner in a bit of a gold. So we know that's a catastrophe. We'll have some of these horn features and, and things like that, which is cool. Catastrophe does seem to have a bit of detailing as well. And lastly, the F runner in I dare say silver. So that brings us to an end of the unboxing of the Warlock Aegis Gundam. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did grab this from Hobby Link Japan, so there will be a product link in the description, as well as some of the other SDW Hero kits. Thank you very much for watching this video feel free to leave a like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the content all of this does help support the channel 
and I do greatly appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me, suddenly losing my voice at the very end of the video. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link below. Stay safe and take care, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.